I've always liked uh, watching him jump off the ship right there. It just looks really cool. Very simple, but you know. attention for this one. This guy's pretty fast, so... Got him. Hey man, get up. Nice. Bro, I haven't played this in like four years. Swing at about about a swing. Oh, I forgot the button I assigned for that. Yeah, there's a button I assigned for one of the throws that I can combo with it.
Got him. Got him. Got him. And he's out of the ring. It's on the hardest mode possible, but uh. when he gets hit too, so it's just, you know, game aesthetic, you know. You have to win without losing, too. Wow. I love Heihachi. He's cool, man. Oof. That's gonna hurt, man. My bad. Get up, son. Alright, I have to get back to the title screen. Nice. 
的吉他琴托人。Got him. Out of the ring. Swing. Bada bada bada. Home run. Easy, bro. Like I said, this is computer. They'll just stand there by the edge. And sometimes they'll guard, but you just go low. You do the low screen, but that's wrong. It's too easy. Alright, that's in battle. This will be the hardest one. This guy's the fastest character in the game. Yeah. Maxi is so fast. Bro, demonetized. What? You can't say that anymore. I knew he'd block the first hit. Bro, he ain't getting no perfect on me, uh huh. Generates like I don't know, uh, <laughs> Taki and maybe someone else. So. There we go. Oh wow! I just sit there and took that. Oh no! no, no. Pretty fast. 
And Inferno gives a speed boost to everybody. It's kind of rough. But it is the final boss, so... Nice. Uh, oof. She's playing this well. I'll just sit down the controller. She does get perfect. Like, are you kidding me? Okay, there. No perfect, but still. There ain't no way, like, with the other two characters, how he heals, changes. What? <laughs> I think that's an infernal special. So Tia cannot do that. The character I have? That's tough. You see that? She cannot do that. I am sorry.
so that he is a little jerk and the light surrounding her reveal that her smiling face showed the turn. Thus creating the new character and Soul Calibur 3, no doubt. Alright. Easy. Wait, what? No, oh, she was saying go to bed, right? And the profile for Sophie Tia. On today. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> there we go. All right, hey, you know I've been needing to get that clip anyway, so there we go. Because uh, personally, I suck with Sophie Tian, but uh, yeah, I've been working on beating Inferno with her for a while. But that's usually my my technique is like take Astral all the way to Inferno, and when I haven't gotten to enter my name yet either, but like when I lose at Inferno the first time, you just pick a different character, and that way I can read the ending. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's, that's you lost the gym fight? So who else have I not done? Oh yeah, I don't think I've done story mode with this character. So... My first edge. Stay right there. The root one. I think Raphael was speaking to the entire chat, you know.
know what happened, you know, halfway down, or down 75 or something, you know what? That is okay. <laughs> so beat is just like, so direct, so funny. <laughs> yeah, Sung Yuna has one interesting personality. Fight.
assassin, oh boy. This guy is one of the fastest characters in the whole game. So tough. So. I might get like swept here. Okay, now I did do a little damage, but that was quick. That was really quick. That, that was so quick.
I'm not gonna make it past this guy. That was rough. That was rough. I'll turn this down a little bit though. The train a bit. Um, maybe I should just go with this guy. Because I haven't got his finish either. His story finish. So, let's go for it. Um, I should have surrendered this one. I have already done like a couple duels already. I wish I had gone first with this hand actually. Well, let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. Because I can get like a lot of links on this with this hand. This is it. The setting and passing. Oh my. Oh my. Well, I don't know if they have an Nibiru or not, but I'm trying to get my link babies. I don't know, but this is an OTK, guys. Check it out. There we go. Thanks for this guy. Yeah, this is an OTK, boys and girls. Oh, the Chang Bulls. Right here. We got Venus. There's no Emperor. Fuck you, the Dom. So stairs. He's the Chang Bulls. Fuck you, Michael Dom. So stairs. He's the Chang Bulls. Ooh, the Jewish. I think it's summertime, baby. So, unless it somehow gets the heat, if this is an OTK. Is that what, what makes this an OTK? Is I have Hyperion. In so, giant ball. Protect up of Pachet. Bubble. And then we mail Neptune. Nope, do not add to him. We want Neptune in the grave. Kaboom. Very good. Must have a Hyperion. Oh, Sure, I'll like the effect to grab the go. So it's time to go bubbling, guys. By banishing the shine ball, well then, get a strike. It was Oh Tark World! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, you guys can't use the mirror, so I win. Um, all I need to do here. Is, yeah, go into Parshev. So we'll link this. And this, and this is an OTK. Pretty easy one too. Because I have another Venus in there. Alright, give it a look. Fuck yeah. Baby. And I've got Sanctuary in the Sky on the field. So I can discard the extra one in my hand. And all I need is a monster I can special summon. So I will grab. It doesn't matter. I guess the other Master Hyperion. Because, you know what? Why not? Why the flippity plan not? Okie dokie. Next I'll banish the Venus in my hand. I have to select this carefully. Yep. On my hand. There we go. To summon the second Hyperion. And it's game over. Deal. Hyperion. Hyper Blade. Hyperion. Hyper Blade. Parshia, legendary, fun time of Parshia. Easy OTK, baby. Man, I was just about to surrender. I was like, oh, let me surrender. Check my dailies. No. See ya. Do I rock? It's hard to do it to you. But that's what we call the Agent Special. Looks like we got a turkey, guys. Three strikes in a row. Oh, nice. And I got the final item. Yeah, go check it out. Uh, heart, this is the Harnesser of Chaos or whatever. And the final, that's the final item for the event. So, we're done, guys. We're done. We are done with the Master Duel event. Again, I got most of these with Ally of Justice. But, um, as you guys have seen in the other streams. But, yeah, the other um, achievement you can only get by going on the light. So I, and I think there were what is an achievement for the dark side if you get enough, um, yeah, this. So, uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, and for this, I don't really need to go for the 2,000 BSP for this. I mean, yeah, there's only an hour left in the event, so we're not going to worry about it.
side, man. But, uh, yeah. Alright, after this, all we're gonna worry about chat is dailies. And so I need to do one link summon, one normal summon. Pretty easy. Two exceeds. So I'll probably just choose the, uh, the Phenomenon deck, and we'll do that. So, man, for now, we're just gonna take a little break. I'm doing a two week out. Are done. All missions done, baby. Alright. This is it. Heck yeah, this is it. We just got all of the rewards in the Master Duel Light Dark event. Mostly with Ally of Justice, which I'm very proud of. Because, you know, Ally of Justice is not a good deck. But we did it, guys. We stuck with it. Like, all you have to do is get the medals. So, this guy just got curb stomp. But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. guys inferno time soul edge versus soul edge will i show this fight i mean i might as well is that right
like super. I can't I can't really hate on Kaiachi. But yeah, that hair looks like he's a Super Saiyan, but Super Saiyans are cool, man. Then again, Hey Hachi never did that. That would be a fun debate to have. switching them, but yeah, that's why I wanted to charge those. Yeah, I wanted to see last time I uh... Weird! This guy just showed me a Wubat, you know, Gen 5, a Wubat, and he's like, look at Karifo! <laughs> Bro. 
stream this game sometime. Like seriously. <laughs> oh, quit farting. We all know. It, it don't smell like roses, you know. Whoa, that was vicious. I should have known that was a mistake. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll go to the 
Banishing that is a win. It's a tuner. Plus it's a four, so they can do 
all kind of things going this in here. Yeah, there's the hard forward too, but you know, I can't negate everything. I think that was a good banish, honestly. It's a very good banish. They should still be able to dent gear and stuff, but jokes on them, I gotta tag you. So this is basically full power orphans, and so far I've only had two negates the whole time. So it'd be interesting to see if they can OTK from here. They do have three cards in hand though, and they three too, so. Maybe, but I'm, I'm not making the LGK easy, you know what I mean, Diego? So, that's the same thing. You can give me all you want, but I'm not gonna make it easy, bro. So, there's Skellix. Hey, guys. Ooh! Ah, so they wanted the Harp War that much, huh? Wow. Yeah, that's one way to do it, I guess. Yep, and there's the Babel. The kill still, so. Not good. Yeah, it's kind of hard to know what you get in this deck, but you gotta at least try to, you know, stop you somewhere. I think stopping the Dark Rift will really throw them off. But.
Ah, smart. Because I actually don't get a special summon because I can't special summon. Alright, go for it. Go for it.
Obrigado, Silvio. Boy, you must be desperate if he's doing that. That's no, fine. Go ahead and add it. Because I'm just going to omnipotent the game that one. Okay, so there's Babel. All I have to do is the vine punch into that. No effect. I mean, I'm pretty sure the add back is one of the trap. Yeah. And then I can special some of this, actually, so. I can do it special some. So I'll ban it. Attack mode. Alright, give up. <laughs> They're down to one card. If that's where I get key, I'll be impressed. Or Thunderbolt or whatever. Okay, so they're gonna try to do this. But they know I have Fallen Sanctuary, so I don't know if it's And I'll have to get rid of Hyperion, but let's do it guys. So get rid of Hyperion. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they have a length three. Wow. Yeah, confession. I mean, that is an out. <laughs> so did you just that? And that effect does work, right? Doesn't say how it has to be special summon. It's just special summon. Wow. Uh, I'm impressed, honestly. So the misplay was destroying the in tier 2, which I'm not really going to count that as a misplay. I mean, yeah, definitely want to use it, so it can't be fun. But I guess they do have some mileage, so they finally got rid of Final Fall and Sanctuary. Probably a bit too late, if I'm being completely honest. They really should have done that, like, first thing, you know, start on their sand in the gates and monster effects, and like, your deck is like 99 that start first thing after They summoned in here to like, what, the, like 20 minutes ago? They're like, yeah. That's one of the things they're just clicking buttons, like click, click, click. They're not even breathing, though. <laughs> All I know is if I see like negate effect on there, negate monster effects, like, I'm getting rid of it, bro. No thing. Well, that's just me. They got four monsters on board now, though, so I don't know if Quark is now on Link 3, but or they can always do it in the third and the second tier. Um, it just really matters, like, how many did they pull, how many did they craft their boss monster in tier 2. They only crafted two, but um, we're basically going to win. Or if they only crafted one. I guess access code does clear this as well, but like, yeah. Well, anyway, they went, they went three off. Orchestra. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, linked card can't be destroyed by a battle or card effects. There you go. Like, why would they leave me with the Link 3? That doesn't make a lot of sense, but they might. Okay, I'll gotta get they did attack the Link 3. They did, okay. Okay. The good thing is, and they don't even know this, I have a card that can tribute their card. I have a Kaiju. <laughs> they might scoop right here. And plus, they left me material for a rank 10. <laughs> Alright, alright boys, here we go. Here we go, chat. Now, with the standby effect, you can revive 
the uh, the one thing, the world legacy card. But it's not even an issue. Oh, he chose not to revive it. Alrighty, check this out, the ALCL. With this, I can send some of this card to your field, and I'll tribute. Oh, I don't know this card that's not affected. <laughs> this guy's probably not the scoop, bro. <laughs> Now, with the Master Hyperion, well then, thanks for destroying all my fairies, because now, I can banish one, destroy this, and next, I'll banish another fairy, to destroy my own Kaiju, and I'll banish this card, I guess. I have another copy of the Link 3, so not worry about that. Bye-bye. And now, to show you your face, I summon Eva in attack mode. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, this is basically over, bro. Because I can take they changed one of my monsters points to zero, but <laughs> I can just link it all for another monster. So I want to get for them. Plus Eva's gonna let me add a bunch of cards, so Yeah, what a dummy thing. Oh, I can make one. This? So I'll banish this and this. Bye bye! And I'll add like the Herald, which can negate monster effect. And I'll add something else. So I'll add this. Oh. And I'll add bottom of this. Diego. And I'll send this guy. Alright. And now we can still battle. And we can off. And we can attack with everything. Pretty easy, yeah. Now we're really close to finding out too, but nice. I ended on one second, <laughs> but you get 30 seconds every turn. So. And I've got like a monster in the game that can destroy. It. So looking good for us. <laughs> you're, pro you're probably gonna be so salty about that guy. <laughs> This is like a, uh, what you call, how do you say, like one of the best decks. Not mine, their deck. Like Orcus is top tier, bro. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna beat him. Because, uh, I'm a much better duelist. Nah, I want you to drop right in. Ready? I'm just kidding. Okay, so they're gonna take back Battle, which. Yes, that's a play, but uh, yeah. In a phase, in phase, okay. All I did was take back Babel and it's over, so. No need to be in or anything, let's just, ooh, I drew salt and judgment. Old man says no, old man says no. All right, we win. Um, agents better than Orcus confirmed? Definitely like highlight. Ooh, trying for the revive more effect. Hmm. Yeah, that is a play, I guess, but unfortunately it doesn't really work. Um, this could be destroyed by a battle, right? Yep. So all I have to do is take this kite attack mode. Three more. Make sure I didn't mess nothing up. Yeah, I mean, that's... This card isn't even in my column, so... I could just pop it. Um, and I will. I don't know all of the Orcus Graveyard effects, but I imagine they have some muscle as far as the longevity, so... Um, oh, <laughs> I guess I'll pop this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the fact that that card lets you revive a card from my graveyard, it's like a fair, like, reborn card. And you never want it to be fair. You basically just want to say, hey, if you revive this, you're going to get nothing. So. <laughs> That's crazy, though. That card can't even be targeted. Like, I tried the effect of Hyperion, and it's a good thing I had an extra monster on the field. So. Alright, well, we win, guys. That is definitely going to be one for the highlight reel.
uh, because my deck agents, as I'm sure you guys know, have no business beating uh, tier one or tier two decks. And at one point, this deck was tier zero. So, hi guys.
Okay, that's good. Excuse me. Um, I may end stream early. Um, we're talking about possibly um just uh, getting some um dominoes. So I guess let me just play this in the background for you guys and um yeah <laughs> cuz uh yeah I need to use the computer here to look up some stuff. So there you guys go. Um I guess I could switch you to just chatting, yeah. Um So we'll go here, switch to just chatting for you guys. To make the the game bigger. And chatting. Chat 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 chat. Um I can just switch this hmm. Okay. There you guys go. I can do Before me. I guess I can skip this. Soul Caliber 2. Okay. Also, I can look up so. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You know what, I think it was in my, yeah, it's like in my promotional stuff. That's where it's at. My email? Yeah. This is 
Soul Calibur 2. Right. And this goes back to the... Hmm, it might be on the... Uh, if it is, that's This is up the 23rd. Okay, if there is a deal, it's expired or in my library, which is fine, honestly, because I feel like ordering some either way. Hey, um, uh, oh, I thought you were about to Yeah, I don't see the deal, but, um, that's fine. I think I'll order it right away. I'll order it anyway. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords, eternally retold. So. Ooh, nice, nice. Good thing I did this. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Keep on, please. I guess I'll go with this one. Yeah. Here we go. I'll go with. Let's get this one. And you get two toppings, right? Pretty sure. Wait. So we'll do this. And bacon. Okay. Next three times. Soul Caliber. I guess I should check with them. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. You're all show.
Namco. Boss, protect me. <laughs> I will go where the gods guide me. Soul Caliber Two. Okay. So on this one, whatever. So I will order. <clears throat> um, this has the regular song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Right. <laughs> See, so this should be pretty easy. Soul Caliber Two. <laughs> <laughs> 
Namco. Hmm. Let me think. Do I want hand toss? Probably. Uh, she said that's what she wanted. Hey. Gotcha. A normal size? Really? And then we'll add bacon to it. Yeah, that's good. And if I had to pay a little extra for the bacon, I'd go. So that's fine. Nice. So mine is that bad. I need to make this one. Soul Caliber 2. And then we need to remove all of these here. Excuse me. Remove that. <laughs> one at a time. Carefully. Okay. Twenty three. Not bad. Yeah, the total only okay. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and souls, eternally retold. Thank <laughs> you. 
Soul Caliber 2. Soul Caliber 2. Uh -huh. do, 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 do. I guess I should save this one. See? C'est la vie. Uh, <laughs> it's Um, yeah, long story short, uh, yeah, sorry I haven't really said what the deal is, but, um, I'll be right back, guys. Um, yeah. So, let's see. Ooh, I guess I could work on my cinematography. Namco! Why is the angle all the way over there? Oh, I probably have it on my, my face cam, like, right here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably it. Um... Also, silly boy, silly boy, you can do this. There you go. There you go. Now we're taking on portals. Right. Now you can kind of make a plan. Just get it close to the You die. You die. I use it. It's a die. You see me. Overconfidence is the greatest enemy. Indeed it is. Alright, but uh, yeah, just gonna set you guys Soul down here. Soul Two. Alright. And uh, yeah, there we go. Come on! Versus Mitsuruji. His motivation is the thirst for power.
Ooh, I need charges. Yep, I plan to record a little uh, uh, Nightmare Troubadour tonight. You go Nightmare Troubadour, so grab this cord. All right. Mm -hmm. Transcending his right enemy, a tale of souls and swords, eternally retold. Alright.
Soul Caliber 2. Namco. Soul Caliber 2. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords, eternally retold. <laughs>
Soul Caliber Two. Namco. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's all you've got? Not even worth my breath. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords, eternally retold. Soul Caliber 2. Nam Khao. Nam Khao. 
Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords, eternally retold. <laughs> Soul Caliber 2. Oh, my God. 
Ah, that felt good. Namco. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords, eternally retold. <laughs> Thank you. 
Soul Caliber 2. Namco. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords, eternally retold.
Namco. Ah. 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 
That's the lesson for today. Soul Caliber 2. Thank you, thank you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There we go. <laughs> Songrina. The fighters face a gruesome quest to search for the ultimate sword. Battle one, fight. <laughs> Um, I could continue with this, but I'm not sure where we're at. In fact, I think this is probably better for our Let's Play format, but maybe, maybe, maybe someday. Um, there we go. Scream. 
versus Yun Sung. Now, two souls are fiercely entangled. Our frame Battle one, fight! <laughs> Shut up! A hero. Battle one. Fight! <laughs>
Battle two, fight! <laughs> Inferno. Now, Go, guys. two souls are fiercely entangled. Go ahead and struggle. Final battle. Fight. <laughs>
this. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna open this. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let's see. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and sports, the truth may be told. <laughs> you guys probably saw the uh, outro and intro a lot when I was there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway. I think one thing we are going to do, guys, is switch back over to this. Because, uh, yeah, last time I was streaming, I remember I was doing uh, Fields of the Roses. And uh, so, yeah, we made it to... And how far did we make it in the campaign as far as... Uh... Let's try to adjust this as best we can. I can't really scoot the TV any closer than that. <laughs> the, TV, the laptop any closer than that. That's about as good as it gets, really. I can sing right, yeah. But, um, yeah, so I think tonight I'll try to, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll just try to do a little more of uh, what we were doing there with the Thunder Nyan Nyan files. And then, yeah, we'll get this go from there, I guess. Um, I should tilt that down. No, definitely not. That kind of works for this game. But I think Duelist of the Roses, I think it at least goes up to here as far as my TV. We'll check it out, we'll check it out. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna get another slice of pizza. Soul Caliber 2. Still pounding. Alright, so yeah, let's go from here. Let's go. I think I can turn this back a bit. E O R. Here, there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go, chat. After a little boost of the roses, and I'll just reach in here and turn the Xbox up. Okay. You check the lighting. Okay, we're good. Next, I remember earlier in stream my controller went out. Definitely need to give it a break. I forgot where John showed me that. Um, 
Oh, right there. Yeah. Three hours? Not bad. So I'm going to update the stream to save the list of the roses real quick. We'll call it good, so. mm -hmm. I think I'll need to X out of this and go back in. For right now, it says Master Duel. You said the thing is not Master Duel. <laughs> I S There we go. Alright. We found it. <laughs> Done. Okay. Yes. Okay. I guess I should get into a duel to check the audio. Okay, let me see if I can. Alright, um, yeah. Let's check the top screen. That's the main thing we need to check. So there's new game. New game. Ooh, I actually do need to back it up slightly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So either. Well, I have two options. I can either back it up like this. Scoot it back. I think I'll just slide it back. Yeah. And then, so I can, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Alright. Uh, glare. Maybe just a little bit of glare. Change that. Let's go this way a little bit. Okay. Any more glare? Ooh, there's still quite a bit, actually. Um, this side, huh? Oh, whoops. Where am I? This side? If I do this... What if I just turn off one right now? Yeah, because I think we're good. I don't really need to see anything else. So, if I do this... Okay, I need to make sure there's no glare back from the TV. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, no glare back. All right, guys, I'll try this guy one more time. But uh, we can't beat him. We can't beat him. And I'll roll Tia. Hey, I got that. One thing I do need to see is my drink. There it is. Ooh. I actually almost uh, stepped on here. Alright. That was a close one. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do it. 
not too bad. Thank <laughs> you. 
Final boss? Easy? Yeah, this is kind of what I was hoping for the last stream. Nice little easy win, but okay.
live stream, this guy was trained to eat this, so. What will happen now? I don't know, but. No. Ooh. Sorry, I can't really do voices now. I'm in the middle of eating, but. Scratch us as I am. Kira. I cannot lose. I'm the guardian of the cards. Impossible. Infidels. Oh, look at this face. Uh, impossible. No. Twinkle. <laughs> ah, the summoning is undone. Oh, right. I forgot there was a story associated with this. My family. Legendary. Legend has it that my family will deal me noble lie. To actually enter into a pact of money. I'm sorry, a pact of money. With a card guardian. But sometime in the past, uh, the money was broken for reasons that are veiled in the midst of history. Hmm. For generations, our family has searched for the money in the hopes of finding this same money guardian. To. Oh, I'm sorry. For generations, our family has searched for the world for, in hopes of finding the same card guardian to revive the money and the money that was once ours and to also revive the max and the glory that was once ours. Since that day, I am here in the Book of M at Dumco. I have searched for it. Book of M? Uh, Book of Moon? Question mark? Book of Moon lore crossover Dumco? Dolores of the Roses win? Many are the guardians I am awakened, including the bamboozled Celtic guardian, the frustrated Celtic guardian, the obnoxious Celtic guardian, and the best guardian of them all, Guardian Grar. Anyway, only to return them to the resting place. The days. My search for the one true guardian goes unrewarded. Ah, new gate guardian support. I hear what you're saying, Kaiba. Don't worry. Your search would uh, be rewarded in the year 2023. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't imagine how excited I am when I'd come to England and learn of the uh, Rose Dubious legend. Needless to say, the result was anticlimactic. Yeah, it was pretty kind of. And the guy just kind of let out a puff of whimper. You know, he stomped us one good time, but that second move, what was that? <laughs> Like, the best monster he summoned was Sui Jin. He even summoned, like, Crimson Sunbird. Bruh, I've been doing that all LP with this deck. What? That's easy, Street. Huh. And he, he was chasing us down with Burf of it. Man. A mighty buff of it. I apologize for dragging you into all this, but... It's okay, Kai, but... I will honor my promise of returning you to your enemies. Thank you, bro. Oh, man. You, you don't know how... Grateful I am to hear that. You know, I just kind of had this weird dream. I was in the middle of this awesome dream where I could fly. The next thing I know, this weird guy, Simon, who's blue, who looks like a, a an alien from Namek or well, not Namek, maybe like what, what's Burger's home planet? Ooh, butter! I'd like that on my Grand Slam. Jace, I'm gonna tell the cat on you, and he's gonna make you pie, Cotton. Uh, however, I fear that is not enough to repay you. Um, take this for your help. Wait. I'm going to give you the greatest gift anyone could ever ask. I give you this. Here, take this back with you. Flood in Mod 14. What is it, Seto? I will continue in my quest to find the one true guardian. Perhaps it's my destiny to fail, but my decision, my descendants, just carry on the search for Okay, Kaiba. Should you meet such a descendant of mine, show this rose pendant. And also, show them the greatest gift I can give you. My name. For from this day onward, my family is ever in your debt. And hey, if there's one guy you want you to owe you a favor, it's said old flippin' Kaiba. And will lend whatever support it is within their money to money and to also provide. This, I promise, as an eternal pledge 
I pledge of money. Oh, and uh, it's also a letter, Jim Rose, you know, just because, you know, Rose been in, uh, don't worry about it. Anyway, uh, thanks, and uh, good luck. Hey, Dragon Ball Z announcer voice. In the days that followed, the mystic barrier maintained by the planet Namek, and the sorcery of the cards faded away. This leading England's swords vulnerable to invasion from the Z Fighters. In August the 1485, Yui, Momo, and Ritu, the Smith successfully landed in Milford Haven, much like the androids landed in uh, the one city on the Amimbo Island. Then, defeating Richard III in battle of Boswell, Yui, and Ritu, was crowned as King Henry VII. The Tudor reign was to continue on to Elizabeth I. As for Santa, Kaido, and the Rose Crusaders, they disappeared from England using the instant transmission. Or did they find out next time on Dragon Ball Z? Never to be seen or heard from again. The only record of their existence remains in the form of an inscription carved on the back of Martin's pendant. Man is born to die. But don't worry, guys, we have the Dragon Balls in order to wish Goku back. Will Goku be able to become the duelist of the ages? And will Gohan be able to learn to summon Exuia? Find out today on Dragon Ball Z, because the Pledge of Rotas is born to live throughout all eternity. And it is a pledge recorded in Mystic Numbers. Why? 3 4 P N 1 S V. The chapter begins. But the training must go on, for even in times of peace, a duelist must be ready for anything. Alright, guys. And we will save, yeah. Alright, so. Yeah, there you go. Alright. <laughs> How's that for an outro? Pretty awesome, right? <laughs> well, guys. That was a fun little, you know, stream playthrough. I thoroughly enjoyed this LP. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, this was fun. You know, just kind of a casual little normal playthrough of Duels of the Roses. Always fun. I mean, this game has so much playability, man. I mean, we just basically put in a, a name. Did a few voices. Did the voices slightly different from last time? You know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, this is your field of the roses. If you haven't seen me uh, play through this game on my channel before, I'm actually running a uh, yeah, I'm actually running a ranking challenge on it right now yeah, on my YouTube channel. And man, it is fun. This game, ten out of ten, man. This game's awesome. There's so much you can do. The fusion system. I and yeah, the perfect rule isn't you know perfect. <laughs> Ironic, right? But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I love it, you know. Then again, I liked chess as a kid, and I liked Yu-Gi-Oh!, and I liked D&D &D as a kid. And so, really, this game's kind of a fusion of all three. It's kind of an off-the-beaten-path Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's like, you know, it's like the spin-off of Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's like, you know how Mario has Dr. Mario, and it's like a spin-off game? This is basically kind of like a spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I know it's technically the sequel to Forbidden Memories, but it's such its own, you know, engine that uh, it, there's really no comparison. Um, but this game's one of the best, man. I mean, loads of people love this game. I love this game, and I hope you loved, uh, yeah, watching the playthrough, both last stream and this stream of uh, this. So, um, now, what will happen now? What will happen next time? On Dragon Ball Z, now that we've stopped the great evil upon him, Fablier, let's find out now on Yu Gi Oh! D O R. Alright, yeah, so if you hit continue there, uh, basically what's going to happen on the new game plus is, uh, and again, I think I'll have some voice acting to do. So let me finish drinking the rest of this. Got some uh, jarritos, yeah. Very good. All right. Splendid. In keeping with the eight tradition of the old temple guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been through this. Yeah, yeah. Red for Simon. 
For the sake of justice, choose the red rose. Stand by my side. Just choose the white rose. And if you try to go up to the other side, like, let me turn the light on. Yeah, yeah, if you try to go up to the other side, the game won't let you. So, <laughs> you basically have to side with whichever side you didn't. But don't worry, I mean, basically, New Game Plus is way, way easier, uh, number one. Number one, because, like, before you defeat uh, the final boss, Mount of Women from Path Clear, you can duel any of the other duels, you know, that were really easy, like Taya or Tristan. And you can basically make your deck, like, perfect, as perfect as you can. Um, the other reason New Game Plus isn't that hard is because, you know, they expect, it's, yeah, so the game expects you to start on one side or the other. And so, for example, the first few opponents on the red row side, they're going to be really, really easy to beat. So, anyway, anyway, let's side with these guys. And I'll do the voice acting. How disappointing. Bokuba. <laughs> Why don't you load up our gal? And we can row away. Yep, big brother. Uh, oh well, he you made your choice. And I respect that. Ah, you see? You know, Kaiba's not such a bad guy. He sent us home in that timeline. And yeah, you used to want and everything. But, you know, at least Kaiba was a man of our word. And also, he gave us the most important thing. My money. Oh, at least, like, a pendant to, you know, show his descendants so we can get his money. So, yeah, Kaiba's, in this game, pretty nice guy. I like him. 10 out of 10. I should say more like 12 out of 10. He's awesome. Uh, for now, I will guarantee your safe passage until you met with you. Oh, yeah, see, right there. Like, dude, like, this dude, uh, I mean, I imagine he has, like, tons of good cards, including the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Like, dude, how, how nice of, is that upset of? And, like, imagine this is your first time playing. Like, Kaiba could literally just duel you right now and, you know, whoop you pretty bad. But, uh, yeah, this is very sportsmanlike of him, so. Nah, after all, I don't want to you too quickly. That wouldn't be sporty. Uh, you know, maybe he is the same old Kaiba after all. Alright. <laughs> I look forward until the day we meet again. Until then. See ya. Me and my awesome armor are out. Alright, and then we take this galley over to uh, the French Empire Brest, Alan of Bretoxine. I'm just assuming that's how you say that. Bretoxine. That sounds French, right? And then, and then uh, oh, oh, let's see who else at the table. Uh, we got, oh, there's a good old Simon there, right there. There's Yugi. Hell. Hello, Shadi. Will you hand me more wine? And there's, oh, that's uh, Grandpa. Uh, you know, uh, or I guess as we found out on Seto's side, his uh, nephew. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. But he did say his name was like Jasper Tudor, or anyway. And then, oh, is that Joey? Nah, <laughs> Brooklyn Rolls. Nah. <laughs> anyway. Ah, Saita, I present Prince Yugi. Oh, yeah, I forgot our name. Last Prince of Lancaster, a true Welshman, in the hopes of who we call ourselves Celts. My lord, may I present Saita, the Rose Duelist. Ah, you serve us well, sir. My mother was wise in summoning you from Scotland. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, at the start of the game, didn't it say Margaret, my Buford, summon us? Wait, my is Yugi's... Mom? Okay, first of all, I don't understand this because he's an anime protagonist. He's not allowed to have a mom. And second of all, Daddy? Uh, anyway. Ah, you honor me, Sire? <laughs> ah, do this. I am Yugi. But, I like leather pots. Also, Henry Tudor is my name, but I find it tiresome. You may call me Yugi. Even though my name isn't actually Yugi, or Yuck, or you may call me Yugi, just to keep things simple. Anyway, I'm sure Simon explained our situation. I need hair gel, and I need it now. So I need you to go back to the future in order to get it. How else do you think my hair be cut is the spiky? We're in the year 1485, don't you know? So, get the hair gel and come back. Thanks. Don't worry. Our Red Rose cards are capable of transportation powers, as we've shown. 
Uh, also, it's only right that I request your services myself. Gillette. It's the best a man can get. See ya. Uh, don't worry about the money. I'll pay you back. Also, I need you to return to England and put an end to the <laughs> I can't believe I did all that with a straight face. Um, there are white rose cards from a barrier that prevents my army from setting foot on British soil. Um, that's nice and all, Yugi, but, um, yeah, don't we have an army? You know, boats, swords, cavalry, uh, archers, catapults. Shall I go on? Oh, and to illustrate my point, there's a man with a suit of armor. Don't worry, Glad, that's just me. I'm in a suit of armor just like I was in the virtual world. <laughs> It'll be so funny. Hey, guys, look how cramped... Look at how quietly I'm walking, even though the suit of armor is really heavy. Yep, that's definitely the sound the wind makes, Jim. You hear that, Jim? No, I don't hear anything. Anyway, all the all the we Celts have the red rose cards. We are but inheritors who are unable to wield their full power. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, Yugi, it sounds like to me that uh maybe it is better to side with Kaiba. So you guys summoned me, okay, without my permission, I was in the middle of a fantastic dream, and then you don't even know what power you possess? So that kind of sounds like I'm doing all the work, Yugi. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Sounds like I'm doing all the work and you're taking all the credit. Is that, is that where this is going? Is that what's happening here? I don't know. In the hopes of reversing our, for our fortunes, we gambled on a druid legend. That spoke my rose of the whoa, 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 gamble, gamble. So what if you had done the summoning wrong? Would it have like transported my body to oh, I don't know, the graveyard, the bottom of the ocean? What are we talking about? You gambled, gambled, gambled. So we're gambling now. But you, sir, you, sir, are gambling with my life. And you know what? In Minecraft. And you know what? You know what? I'm starting to see why I sided with Seto Kaiba. You, sir, are quite lazy and inept. Ha! That's right, I used a fancy word like inept. Take that. Ah, according to the same legend, one must use a deck whose cost is fewer than an opponent's to capture. Oh, yes, we know this. Uh, yes. I believe this is important. Uh, you must. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know you. We know. Ah, yes. I would like you to know that all resources have been pressed to the limit, requiring us to invade. Oh, dude! So wait, you're broke too? Ah, oh, come on, bro. Requiring us to invade England by August. Uh, August? Isn't it August right now? Huh. So I guess this uh, whole, you know, scenario with the war, the actual Ro War of the Roses, I guess it reached the climax of the war in August. I don't know, guys. I'm not a history buff. And I don't really remember the War of the Roses, so... Anyway, my truthful lad in Milford Haven, Wales. Oh, okay, we'll land in Milford Haven, Wales, and march on to face the enemy at Bosworth Field. Okay, so we, at least Yugi has like a plan, you know. Yugi, Yugi, look, Yugi's basically saying this. Uh, do I look like the kind of guy with a plan? Yes, yes you do. Yeah, I mean, you have a tactical plan. But as far as the whole gambling thing, with the druid legend, he didn't have a plan, so kind of hit and miss. At least he's a good, you know, strategic military man. That's all right. I think all the Rose Crusaders I'm not commissioned by this time would be ideal, huh? So once again, it sounds like you're putting all the burden on me. I don't know. I mean, I just got here. I mean, let's pretend we just started a new game. Like, I don't even know what's going on. Like, what if I just defeat, I don't know, two of the Rose Crusaders, and like Yugi, you have the Dark Magician, you have Black Luster Soldier, you have maybe the God cards, maybe, I mean, I don't know. Why don't you defeat Hav, and I defeat the other Hav? You see, guys, that sounds fair. That sounds like asking someone for a favor. Yugi, you know, you're the king of games, you, you know, you use Exodia and defeat Hav, and I'll use whatever cards I have to defeat the other Hav, so I'm good. Okay, team break. <clears throat> anyway, ah, uh, but uh, that might prove uh, difficult. Any reduction of the force would be appreciated. Eh, whatever, Yugi. 
Right then, let's part company and reunite in Bosworth. Be sure to bring the hair gel from the future. Also, Simon will provide you with the details as to where and when we'll meet and use the Gillette razor. Also, as where we'll meet once more. All right, all right. So, that's the story with Yugi. Now, like I said, I don't really like it. You know what I mean? Yugi could at least offer to take out two duelists. I mean, he, he has the capacity to do that. I mean, come on. All right, anyway. So, the duelists here are Weevil <laughs> and uh, Rex Raptor. Oh, pep, struck it out, guys. My dragon's horny. All right, anyway, let's save right here. Yeah, because we did get a new card to end the game. Uh, you may remember Suijin. It was quite a while ago, so I don't mind if you don't. Um, on to be TBH. Pretty good card. Yeah, so check it out. Whatever damage is inflicted, it reduces zero. Basically, this has the Karibo effect. Pretty good, honestly. And its stats are pretty solid, so. Alright. So, yeah, we don't really need Enchanted Javelin anymore. I think we'll take this out. Sui, Jin, in. Alright. We're good. Alright. Okay, voice time. Ready? <laughs> so I check out this generic insect. <laughs> so here's the legendary rose deal that's ready to meet the steaming of my insect egg. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Alright, wait, well, let's do it. Yeah, and this guy. Yeah. Not really that hard at all, so don't worry about it. Alright. Nice. Good start for us. Um, let's play Mountain right here. And I'll end my turn. Alright. Very good. Okay. Next move, I think I'll move with Kai Nishin right here. We'll move here. And I'll activate Nolunganya, Nolunganya. Alright. And that should help us out quite a bit. We got our kill card early. That's always a good thing. Alright. And we will just get the turn. What you got, Weevil? What you got? <laughs> Scorpion of the Tundra, huh? Well, this ought to be an interesting fight. While this happens, I'm gonna go grab something. Back to Pippa. Ha, <laughs> 
There we go. Alright, right here, let's go with this. Yeah. Alright, call Morty Trick. There we go. And I will move here. And we'll end the turn. Not bad, not bad. So we got a rock now. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking. Okay. Kyrieshin right here. Felt pretty safe with it on the mountain. Now let's move Kamari Dragon here. And then let's move Invisible Wire right here. Okay, turn it into. Yeah, she can say goodbye. No, no! That's a card. That's actually very good that we got that, because that card's very helpful for some of Weevil's uh, ritual cards. Uh, ooh. If I could get an Aqua, we'd be looking pretty good here. Um, hit Kairushin move. Uh, we can attack him directly this turn, so let's go with our strongest monster, Spirit of the Winds. Oh, it was a negate attack. Okay. At least we got rid of that. And best of all, we get to stay here on the mountain. So, that honestly helps us. Um, I will take the damage with Kamori. Uh, just right here. Yeah. There we go. And, yeah, direct attack is a direct attack. So, we might as well. Now, in my turn. Alright. Pretty smart move for him to stay because, yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm pretty sure... Uh, either one of those monsters can beat Kamori Dragon, but, uh, I just wanted the 1500 on the direct attack damage, so, it's fine. I mean, we're only going to take 800, but we did 1500 damage, but... Playing for attack, huh? Pretty standard, pretty standard here. Nice. Oh man. Well, you put the teeth moth out of here? Yeah, yeah, we will can be, you know, as you see here with some of his cards. <laughs> some of his insects are actually really, 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 really weak. You know, but like I had said, you know, he is intended to be one of the first few opponents, so. Oh, nice. He's an airbender. Like an avatar, the last airbender. Nice. That's a pretty baller attack for a, like, 5-star, 1700 point monster. Nice. Yeah. Alright, well, anyway, um, one thing I did want to point out here... This card is it no is normally used by like the Labyrinth Brothers, uh, um, Paradox. Because of that, yeah, they have the special movement power. Can enter Labyrinth Squares. So yeah, not many cards have this ability, but it is pretty cool that this card does. You know, just you know, kind of like it does in Duel's King. So, which in this game, some people have basically argued that it's Duelist Kingdom, Duelist Kingdom, the video game, which. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, even Kai Ryushin, which is normally a vanilla, has the, you know, 
flood the field effect, which TBH I kind of like. So, but if you're not a fan of Duelist King of all, like the made up Mumbo Jumbo, you probably won't be a fan of this game. Just saying. So, oh, I missed by one. It's okay. I guess we'll go for Hercules Beetle. I guess. I don't know. Uh, sure, basic insect. We got his deck right Okay. Uh, the real gra good grabs there are negative tech, and yes, uh, Petite Moth is good. It can eventually evolve into uh, Perfectly Ultimate, but you need a certain card from Weevil in order to do that. <laughs> no, I, I, I honest. <laughs> this can't be happening. <laughs> I am Cornfolio. Alright. Alright, beating Weevil unlocks two more destinations. We have mm, Pegasus Crawford here. Maximilian Pegasus. And yeah, in the anime he was called Pegasus J. Crawford. For the longest time I didn't realize didn't know why that was his name in this game, but yeah. In the anime it is Pegasus J. Crawford. And we also have Bandit Key. And look at the look at the flag on his head, man. That's that's like a Union Jack fusion flag? Like, what? Bro, Keith, you're breaking the timeline here, bro. Union Jack wasn't even a thing until, like, what? I don't know, 1655? And here we are in 1485. <laughs> Ian Britton. Alright, anyway. <laughs> uh, before we uh, handle these guys, obviously they have pretty high deck cost level. So, yeah, and one thing I do want to point out is, like, here on the this side, of the red, you know, for Yugi side, um, you definitely have branching pathways, which I do like better. You may have noticed while we were doing the the other side last train that we basically started here at Stonehenge, and then we just basically made a beeline, and it was all a one linear pathway, you know, eventually, and then over we made it over here to defeat Yugi. So, and I guess that's why Yugi isn't helping us much, like. Like when we were in Kaiba, like we were when we were teamed with Kaiba, he's like, "Yeah, I need to be here as a barrier against invading forces." So that sort of makes sense. So I guess I can give Yugi a slight pass, but at least let me roll that Dark Magician, bro. But yeah, linear path over here for Kaiba's side, and this pathway is so far, yeah, it's kind of branching. I mean, yeah, you got these two options, and then you got these, and then once you beat Rex, you do have two more options, so. Kind of interesting. I like it. I like the branching path more on this side. Anyway. Oh, check it out, guys. The Rose Duelist. I'm not even scared or impressed. In fact, I'll crush you <sighs> to a pulp with my dinosaur deck. Get ready. Now we're going to score. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Um, that's now Mount Mountain two duel back to back. I love it. Let's go with uh this card, the uh, face down. Now in my turn. All right, using oh powering up, yummy. All right, okay, or. Um, this is honestly pretty good, so what we want to do here with this hand is to use this with this, and then with this, and we actually want to move it right here. So actually it was a pretty strong fusion. Fusion hop, and fusion hop! Yeah! Just took the sands back, baby. And there we go. I'm going to actually flip it up and move two, because she is boosted on this field, and... Might could have worked some run for her money, to be quite honest. Let's find out. Paralyzation Nation. <laughs> what did he power up? What did he power up? Oh, what's that? Oh, Sparks? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's... Ooh, 50 life point damage. Oh, man. You can't shut this guy out. You can't beat him without taking damage, man. Can you? Ooh, new challenge. Can you beat Rex Raptor without taking damage? <gasps> wow, he powered up this card? Oh my, that's pretty weak. 1300, huh? Alright. Um... Yeah, I think I'll just, uh... You know, kind of back off here. And I'll go with 
mountain on this side, yeah. And we will end the turn. Ooh, Rex is running away. Why are you running away from me? Alright, let's uh see we got a spellcast from there. Alright, alright. Um, I think I do have two baby dragons, so I uh, think this will be used, so uh yeah, let's go with this. Sweet, okay. Now I fusion nice, yeah, our mascot with forbidden memories. I play fire dream. <laughs> Fire! Fire dragon! Hi, in my turn. And Rex isn't doing anything, man. He's just skipping turn and he's, you know, he's just, he's in panic mode, I guess. So, yeah, sometimes the AI just won't play any cards. And to be quite honest, I'm surprised I got it, like, on a stream like this, but, well, anyway, here we go. I like the mountain here. And, yeah, if the AI does do that, uh,. Count your chickens, count yourself nothing, because, yeah, doesn't always happen, but it is pretty fun, I'm saying it does. Uh, let's go ahead and just play Kite of the Revolution right here. Just to flood the field, change the tide, and yeah, that'll end my turn here. Alright, what you gonna do, Rex? Just skip. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, well, <laughs> GG, man, uh, nice, uh, thanks for, thanks for just laying down and Surrendering, bro. I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah, sure. I'll flip Kaminari. Uh, we've already won. And then, sure, I'll tackle Blackland because he's our mascot. Alright. Pretty easy duel against Rick's mascot. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about, you know. Yeah, so this side isn't too bad at all. Especially if Rex duels like this. Yeah, you're going to have a really easy time. So. Oh wow, I just completely missed on all those. I was aiming for invigoration, obviously, but yeah. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. What? Me? <sighs> Lose? Oh, yeah. uh, uh, I don't believe it. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. How long have we been streaming, by the way? Let's see. <clears throat> okay, we're good. Yeah, and with this, yeah, you open up two more destinations. So you uh, open up to the east here in St. Alban. So you open up. Oh, the doctor's ruler. Let's turn down the lights. <laughs> oh, but more importantly, you unlock this guy, yeah. <laughs> AKA Bones. Um, yeah, now this guy, Pumpkin is pretty busted in this game. Um, and we've already seen its ability once or twice. This guy will definitely give you lots of zombies and plants. And our deck, uh, our starting deck already came with, uh, let's just go to our types here. So I can show you guys. Yeah, our starting deck already came with... Quite a handful of plants, like, um, like this, this, that's two, three, four, five, yeah, you see what I mean? And, like, all you need with these plants are, like, zombies, and then you can potentially have five, uh, uh, pumpkins on the field that you can both fuse into, and then also you can just hard draw pumpkin, uh, because this deck leader is pumpkin spoilers. Uh, but, yeah, pretty good, uh, person to duel. Now, I will take out Suijin and put in... 
this because, uh, yeah, uh, his net cost is pretty low. I don't remember exactly how low, but uh, how low can you go? How low can you go, yo? Uh, but yeah. Yeah, bones, um, yeah, if you're looking, if you like just don't know, uh, you know, fusions or this or that or whatever, um, try beating Rex really early and hoping that, you know, even if you're new to the game, there's a chance he could do what he just did against us and, like, just refuse to summon. Beat him, you know, uh, however you do it, whether you learn the game or not, or he just lays down and quits. Then come over here to Bones. May not be too easy to beat, but yeah, all you need to do, try learning just Pumpkin Fusions. Just Fusions that work only for Pumpkin. And then, yeah, get a bunch of zombies from him, uh, get a bunch of plants from wherever you can get them from, and... Hey, you're off to the races. Uh, because the AI is, like, pretty bad in this game. And if you just sit back on Pumpkin and let it pump itself up, the AI is not going to do anything to stop you, you know, most of the time. So, ooh, my zombie, zombie dick hunters for a taste of you. Oh, wait, let me do his voice. Brains, 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 Anyway. But yeah, 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 definitely. Go against Rex first, even though he seems better with the 960. Now, just go up against him, hope he get, does what he just did against me, and then come right for Bones, and then, like, you know, start dueling this guy, learn how the fusions work, and get as many zombies as possible. Yeah, pretty easy strat, so. All right. <laughs> And zone eater is good. It's because I what I think I'll do with zone eater is just kind of move it this way and then this way and then go all the way over here and eventually turn this whole row into water. That is awesome. That's why I love zone eater. Um, in the meantime, in between time, I think I will do this and put the montagna right here. Yeah. All right. I guess we'll find out what's working, what he's working with on the right side here first. So, Queen of Leaves, go. Yeah. Oh, Wind Remains, okay. okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, hi there, em Ember Leroy. How's it going? <laughs> Hope you're liking the uh, duel so far. Yep. Uh, so far with this deck, we've just kind of 
we basically started a new file, and, uh, yeah, we've already beaten the, uh, Kaiba side. Joined the beaten Kaiba side, and now we're here on this side, for Yugi side. Nope. Alright. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Well, he seems to be moving out of our way, so I'm just gonna attack. Somni Warrior, yeah. So the good thing about our starter gift deck is that it came with the mountain view, which gives zombies a a big decrease. So this tool's looking a lot easier than it normally is, because um, yeah, normally all the wastelands here and we'll just ruin your day. <laughs> all right. Nice. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah. Still want to do what I said I want to do. Just basically put this here, and we'll start moving Zone Eater like a zigzag way, way over here, and then change everything to uh, water on this final uh, stretch of terrain. Yep, sounds good. Okay. Oh, we got Harpy Lady. That's pretty good. Um, right. Let's see here. Hmm, okay. Um, let's just put... Oh, this is his monster. Perfect. Okay. Um, I doubt he can beat Harpy Lady, but let's just go with Spirit of the Winds. Let's toss his Beast Fangs for now. Yeah. And we'll just attack. Oh, it's y'all gone. Okay. We've got this. It's time. Now, it's time that you face Miroku's ultimate technique. From Inuyasha. Ready? Wind tunnel! Wind tunnel! <laughs> it's like the perfect name for that attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. And let's go again. And I'll end my turn. Power increase, rut row, rut row, rain. Rain, rain. Okay. Well, the fact that he moved this card out of the way is kind of a positive. Um, it could just be he's going after my deck leader, but eh, whatever. Uh, ooh, stone soldier. Okay. Oh, we can make um. Mystical Sand again if we want. But let's try throwing down a little Invisible Wire action at him first. I will move Archery Girl here. It gets the most boost from, um, uh, yeah, the Sea Terrain. Defense Mode Shirt. Move you over. And then I will retreat this monster over here. So, there you go. Looks good. And the turn. Alright. Oh, and that one card that he powered up, he just backed off, so guess we called his bluff. Um, yeah, let's just attack with the girl, Red Archer. Clown Zombie, wow, we beat it by 50 points. That is clutch, Red Archer Girl, clutch, okay. Wow, all right.
<laughs> Tom Zombie looks so funny, just kind of tiptoeing on the ball there. I don't know why. I don't know why that, but it, but it amuses me greatly. <laughs> yeah, Red Archer Girl's defeating quite a bit of monsters here. She's pretty good. Yeah. All right. I guess we'll switch Queen over here. Let's see what I do. Um. Yeah. That's uh. That's fine. Um. Let's move this over. Let's move this over. Let's move this up, and this fusion should work just with this to create the Dark Witch, yes? Yeah, the Dark Witch, yeah, and the only reason I prefer it, uh, because look at the field setup we've got. Uh, yeah, and she does get terrain boosted on Montagna, so, uh, move over, sure, go for it, down here. I turn my end out. Yeah, that's that's right. Just move out of my way. Uh, Yahiba Robo. Oh man. Well, at least we got another card in the graveyard slots, so right? That's why Invisible Wire is really good. It's not because of the uh, you know, the destruction effect. No, no, no. Uh, Invisible Wire is good because there's a chance your opponent will put something in the graveyard that you don't have. So. That's the real meat and potatoes. Um, I guess it's just uh, summon Yashi no? I, I don't know. Man. Uh, sure. Let's summon it right here. Gain the life points. Okay. Maybe he'll reveal whatever card this is. I don't know. All I know is we've won because we're gonna checkmate him. Yeah, check it out. His leader's here. This is our card. This is our card. All we have to do is put a card right here. That's our card, and we have the perfect card to do that. You guys, ready? It's time to move the almighty to block the zone. And there we have it, Cashatira Lock. No, but seriously, though, in this game, if you can't summon, you lose. And, yeah, you can't summon over the opponent's cards, therefore, he loses. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, now Pumpkin will be in the slots, as well as, you know, a bunch of the zombies, some power-ups. Kind of like what I was just saying. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, go for Rex. Uh, maybe he just won't summon anything, and there you go. Um, yeah, come beat, uh, come try to beat Bones. Uh, yeah, definitely a good strategy. So, uh, Clown Zombie, all right. Nice, first one. Okay, and Dragon Zombie. Okay, that's pretty good, to be quite honest. That is quite good. All right. Alright. Brains, 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 Are you a pirate? Ooh, Joey Wheeler, you'd be a fool if you think that you've seen the last of me. Ooh, zombies keep coming back over and over. Ooh. This arena will be your graveyard. Yeah, alright. I was scared, I'll admit it, but it wasn't the Ooga Mooga rap, but you talk about your graveyard, nah, it was your creepy face that gave me the willies, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's reincarnate some cards. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, we don't really need two Dragon Seekers, so, sure, let's reincarnate this. Mikazuki no Yaiba. Nice. Uh, that does Space Man Control? Sweet. And, yeah. Yakutano Megami. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll take it. All pretty good cards. Yeah. Mm, okay. Hmm. Um. Okay. I think I'll take out these things for now. Maybe throw in by the crystal. Uh, swap in some of the new zombies we got. Sounds good. 
Um, let's go all the way down. Let's take out... Let's take out... Um, Occubeam, sure. Bye-bye. Let's put in Dragon Zombie. Um, Spirit of the Wind. We'll keep it for now. Red Archery Girl, we'll keep it for now. Um, maybe I finally take out Goddess of Whim. Man, its effect is just so random, I don't even... Yeah, it is hard for me to keep that card, to be honest. Um... You know what? I'll see you though, hero. Sure, I'll take this card out. And let's throw in. This card's effect can actually be quite helpful, yeah. Yaku Teno Megami. And then we'll take out. Uh, Mega Thunderball. Sure. Yeah, like that effect's ever gonna, gonna come up. Um, actually, I guess it might against Man of Heat. That's pretty funny, yeah. Um,. I guess let's take out Hoshining. Sure. And let's throw in uh Did we get a little zombie? Clown zombie? Clown zombie. Uh Dark Assailant can come back as well. Fusionist, Dark Assailant. There we go. Alright. On to the next one. What time is it? Oh my. Um Okay, I think I'll do like one last duel. And then that's going to be it for me, everyone. Um, yeah, if you've been here so far tonight, thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you stopping by. And if you happen to check out the VOD later on YouTube, I appreciate you as well. Oh, yeah. Um, let's take on this guy. Ah, oh, you dare to challenge the dark deck of Dr. Schroeder. Rose do this or not. You don't stand a chance against my crimson chin. Let's turn down the lights. Ooh. My castle of dark illusions illuminates the field at night. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so we got Not bad, Zone Eater. Zone Eater. I love Zone Eater. Okay, so let's flood the field right away. Alright. More water for me. Sweet. And with that, I'll turn my end up. Alright. Uh, side note, if you are playing this guy for the first time, watch out. He loves to play a lot of tracks. So, speaking of one, there's one right there. So, this is Gorgonzola Cheese, or Gorgon's Eye. So, yeah. Uh, trap. Full range. Permanent trap that triggers when the enemy completes his move in the defense, which we just did. Automatically cancels it and move and eternally spellbinds it. Yeah, eternally. So you know what that means. No defense modi modi until you destroy this cardi cardi. Ah, very dangerous. Very dangerous. But, uh, anyway, let's just, uh, summon a good old uh, dragon zombie right here that happens to be strong on the Yami field. Sure, let's do it. Let's summon it right here and just go for this card to be destroyed. Uh, I will need to overwrite Zone Eater at some point. So just keep that in mind. Alright, go ahead. Yeah, run away, run away. Alright, good, good. And that's kind of what I was hoping with Dragon Zombie. I was hoping by flipping it up like that, we could get him to back off. And then I could just, you know, come here. Get rid of this. Good. Now we can play defense mode all we want. The rest of the match, so. And Montagna, double Montagna. Alright. More field cards. Feels good. Uh, now, keep in mind, if we play it here, it'll actually weaken Dragon Zombie, so. That in mind. I think I'll actually play it right here. Um, there's a chance this is a trap, and me moving it doesn't actually activate it. If that's so, I'm okay with that. Um, no, we actually did get, get it activated. Wow. Okay. Well, today's our lucky day. I guess we know this either isn't a trap. Or it's a trap that doesn't affect magic cards like Invisible Wire, Acid Trap Hole, Bear Trap, 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead, Panic. Pretty good start for us. So we had Sony here. We had, um, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty good start for us. Now, I'm 99% sure one of these will be a trap. So, let's just see what we draw here. Uh, and let's just charge in, you know. Yeah, invisible wire. Okay. So that what I expected. Um, that's fine. Uh, let's play this card right here. Nice, with uh, this card. And, yeah. I'll use her special ability, I guess, to power up this. That doesn't seem too bad. There we go. And I'll back off a little. What you got? Alright. Okay, another face down behind them. And this face down's over here. Um. Uh. Yeah, I guess we'll just try to activate this trap. Um. He doesn't have any zombies, so I really have no qualms about charging this card in. Okay, yeah, yeah, trap card. Yeah, this guy loves traps. Loves, loves, loves. Okay, then let's move here. Not a trap. Good. Okay. Well, we know it's safe to go past whatever this card is. Maybe it's a monster. You know, whatever. And I will get the turn. What you got, baby? Just more face downs, yeah. This guy loves his traps. Um, we've won here, because all we have to do, there's only one card that could possibly stop our attack right here. That's a trap. So, all we have to do is summon any monster. Uh, Yashinoki, sure. And if it is a trap, which it is, you know, we set it off with our weakest monster. And then, yeah, uh, pretty easy. Yakuteno Megami. Direct attack. And yeah, this guy didn't summon a single monster. Well, if he did, he never attacked us. So, thanks. You know, <laughs> thanks for the memories. Thanks for the memories. All right, pretty easy. Um, but yeah, Shadow Spell's pretty good. Invisible Wire. I mean, you can make arguments for all of these. I per I love Invisible Wire, so. That's what I'll go for, but, uh, yeah, honestly, you don't get too many traps early in the game, so really, all these traps are pretty good, yeah, so, uh, yeah, just go for one, and if you, like, landed on one, try to, try to land on the other, like, it does take some getting used to from the slot, so, uh, yeah, um, so let's try for invisible wire now, I'm focusing, don't mind me, um, Nice, we got it. Okay, Shadow Spell, you're up. I gotta focus. Let's focus on the slots. I guess you can go after his deck leader, too. Uh, King of Yami Makai? Yeah, it's in there. Um, Shadow Spell, Shadow Spell, Shadow Spell, Shadow Spell. Ooh, missed by one, but you know what? Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, an Invisible Wire, yeah. Take out anything 3k or below, which... Yeah, that's quite a wide range, so that's pretty good. Alright. Anyways, um... Ah, oh, no! How could it be? How could I possibly be? Uh, well, you just, uh, yeah. You're all bark and no bite. Thought Shelly said. That's how we run. Ah, oh, but anyway, guys, yeah, like I said, that's gonna be the last duel for tonight, I think. Uh, yeah, appreciate you guys for joining me. And I'll just do the uh, outro here real quick. Uh, next time, next stream uh, that we do this on, we'll take on Pegasus. Keep. Um, we have taken everyone down yonder here, right? Down south. Uh, that's good. That saves me a little time as far as remembering. Uh, but yeah, next stream, uh, Keith and Pegasus. And then if these pathways lead anywhere else, we'll take on whoever we face. And at some point, I'm sure we'll be taking on Ah, Sito freaking Kaiba. You know, because we are on the new side. This, this time. This time. Alright, but uh, yeah. For the VOD watchers, I appreciate you guys. And oops, the, uh, if you check out the stream later, I appreciate you as well. Or if you were here, I appreciate you. Alright, but uh, yeah. 
you guys have a good night. Bye bye. And I will see you all. <laughs> and next time. All right. Till then, you know, shuffle your deck in re regular intervals. You know, allow me to do a, de a demonstration. So, yeah, until then, shuffle your deck at regular intervals like this, you know. And, yeah, be sure to take care of yourselves, whoa, and each other. All right. All right, bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> and this is uh, it's a pretty fun stream, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, we did uh, Soul Ca Man, uh, dude, like, yeah, I hadn't played Soul Calibur 2. I don't know, it's just so funny, like, we came back from, um, just shooting around a little bit with Diego, you know, shooting around basketball or whatever, and I was like, yeah, man, you know, I was, like, I was thinking of what to do on stream, and, you know, then, of course, you know, Master was booting up, um, you know, he came up with the good stream idea, as far as, like, you guys deciding my deck, you know, in Master which, that honestly does sound fun, it sounds like a train wreck waiting to happen, so... Pretty good ideas. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, we, but yeah, thanks for my first time chatter. Uh, yeah. Ember Leroy? Yeah. Appreciate you. Uh, if you happen to watch the VOD later, cool. I mean, you know. Uh, also, we got a new follower. Uh, in, what does it say? E-E-M-E? -E? Is that Emily Miron? I don't know how to say that. Uh, might have said your name wrong. i sorry. Also, John Pond Music. Yeah, thanks for following and living crocodile. Okay. Um Yeah, pretty good stream overall. Um yeah. Played some duels of the roses, master duel. And the main thing is is we finished the uh not like all of the uh rewards you could get for the light event, but we did get the big one there at the end, you know, for the what was it the twenty two hundred uh medals? I think it was. Yeah. Man, yeah, so you know. Um yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. But uh yeah, as far as you um uh the YouTube outlook, you know, maybe I should start doing this at the end of each stream and then just clip it. Just clip it and then post it short the next day. Um the YouTube outlook for my channel. Um, here's the thing, um, most stuff is caught up, I think the only thing I have yet to record and post recently, well, there's two things, you go for Ben Memories, so, like I said, I know the episode that needs to be posted next, I know it's somewhere, I can't, I'm still looking for it, I can't quite find it in the archives, um, or on, like, my flash drive or anything, it's kind of weird. I may just have to skip that up, that part and then explain, yeah, explain like, oh, okay, yeah, we went here to this shrine and did this and blah, 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 this is what you do. Um, that'd be unfortunate, but I could explain it. Um, yeah, and then if I ever find the, the original footage, the original episode, I could just, uh, hmm. Yeah. Uh anyway. Um eh. <sighs> because I'm pretty sure the next episode I'm looking for I took on the sea shrine. Oops, spoilers, but um but I can't find it. Um Uh so yeah, that's all we're waiting for in Duels of the Roses. Everything else, you know, we've updated GX, we've updated Final Fantasy Eight, we've updated Pokemon Platinum, Randomizer. Um, yeah, everything else I think has been up, to, um, maybe I'm missing something as far as an LP goes that I haven't updated since I've been back, you know, done the back to school recordings. Um, let me think, let me think for Chef of Destruction we've done, uh, it has been about a week, um, and I'm all caught up on Chef of Destruction, so there's nothing left in the archives or anything, which is both good and bad, you know, it's good because... I know I'm caught up. I can't lose an episode if there's nothing to look for, right? It's also, I guess, bad because by the time I update it, it may be like two weeks between episodes. Uh, and I don't have time to record that tonight, specifically. Um, also, this. 
Duels of the Roses, the ranking challenge, has been updated. Um, oh, yeah, I posted some stuff from the Command Night Saga. Pretty fun, honestly. Uh, yeah, I found, like, a bunch of episodes of that in the archives. And I was like, what in the world? Command Night? Sure, let's post it. Sure, whatever. You know, some of it might do good on views. Who knows? And it's just like, well, I already recorded the content. So, and I just double-checked, you know, made sure I didn't say anything to offensive or weird or what no it's just standard boilerplate uh Yu-Gi-Oh content so i was like you know what why not let's post it yeah <laughs> so um so yeah yeah if you guys enjoyed that congratulations you've won the content lottery because i didn't expect that i would be uh posting that either you know, but I was looking back through the archives, you know, for the for the forbidden memories, for the forbidden memory stuff. I guess that's the good part about losing, you know, mis well, technically it's not lost, it's misplaced. Uh, about misplacing content is that, yeah, sometimes I'll find stuff like really deep in the archives and be like, whoa, I don't remember recording this at all. And then I'll just, you know, check it out, have Tim edit it, post it. Um, there you go. That's how we posted some uh, 5D's Decades Duel Plus, which actually I do need to record. Um, but that's pretty easy. All I do is I hook up the HDMI and then... Yeah. Uh, those episodes went surprisingly well. This is the vlog section, by the way. So, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently, I, you know, obviously have been posting more Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Decades Duel Plus. You may have been wondering, like, why is he posting that? What? Like... We haven't seen that LP posted in years. Well, now you guys know why. Because I lost the Forbidden Memories episode, not only did we find the Command Knight Saga, not only did we find the, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, uh, Decades Duel Plus, you know, the the, the, the bonus duels. We also found, um, uh, should I spoil it here? Uh, I think Tim might get mad, honestly, if I spoil. There's... There's one last, like, episode of a series, of a, I'll give a hint, a former series, which that's a pretty vague hint, if you know anything about my channel. But we found, a, uh, yeah, like a lost episode of a former series um, that I used to do regularly on my channel. Um, I'm still talking to Tim about, like, when should I post this? Because I'm actually excited about it. I'm like, hey, I want to want to post it. I want to post it. I wanna, but he's like, man. Eh. Hold up, let's pause the phone, let's, you know, the content we're doing right now is doing good, so it's just like, yeah, especially the, the 5D stuff, the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D, the Decade Duel Plus, um, out of all the content I've been producing since I've been back, the Decade Duels Plus has been surprisingly, the views have been surprisingly high. Are they bots? I don't know. All I know is like, one of them's got over 400 views, and I'm just like, whoa. You know, the, compared to what my, I, my channel normally gets, 400 is like, you know. And even if they just, like, click on it, like, even though, even if it's just, like, a click, and then they hit the X button right away, that's still a pretty substantial amount of, you know. Because um, retention's one thing. You know, retention one thing. That's I can work. There are techniques to work on retention and retaining your viewers on YouTube that I can definitely work on. That's not an issue. But yeah, if we're starting to get like 400 or 500 people click on it per video, per video. You know, just period. Um, and then the big videos start to do like in thousands, and then the lower videos start to just stay in the four hundreds. That's honestly pretty good progress. Um, is it going to happen? I don't know. Maybe it's just an anomaly. You know what I mean? Sometimes you will get anomalies where it's just like, you know, whatever. For whatever reason, this weekend on or the exact date you posted this, people were watching Decades Duel Plus, or they were something something Five Ds related came out. Maybe maybe a nostalgia from Konami or who knows, you know, whatever. Maybe people were just really in a Five Ds kind of mood that day. And they clicked on all your videos. That happens. That happens. I mean, um, 
what I'm trying to say here is that um, there's a couple 5D stuff that I'm going to post this week. I, uh, to be quite frank, if the views keep, you know, being, you know, high, and by high I mean, okay, if it's more than, like, 60, if, if we're getting views, like, in the 60s and up per video, like, per video, you know, it's 60, 70, 100. You know, triple digits is really high for my channel. It really is. It's, like, really, really high. I know our subscribers have went up, but comparatively, like... Yeah, and like I said, some of those 5Ds videos are up to like 400. One's up to like 400, and the other one's up to like 288. And it's still going up. And so, see, that's the thing. It's like it's still going up. I mean, most videos that I do that do well will only go up like the initial, you know, three to seven days that are in a week. You know, the first three days will be high, 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 high. And then it'll continue to go up for about a week. And then it'll just kind of... Just kind of you know <laughs> but um yeah if the, especially if the 5d's videos keeps going up you know the ones that are already posted and the views on those keep going up which so far they are um yeah you might start seeing some more 5d's on the channel like a lot more a lot so my my message here in the vlog you know as we close out here is if you love 5Ds, you feel 5Ds. Maybe I'll make this part into a short. Let me get professional. Do you love Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds? Have you been checking out my content lately? The Decades Old Plus. If you really love Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, number one, keep watching. Number two, start commentating. Because the views are there. The support's there. But, you know, if you guys obviously content... The, the the reason I ask you to comment is because, you know, like I was just saying, I don't know if it's like botting or popular that day, etc. But if I start getting like a slew of comments, and by slew, I mean more than six on one video. Like, if I ever got any one video on YouTube that had like 10 comments, 10 different people commenting, hey, we want to see Pokemon this you know or we want to see pokemon trading card game we want you to use the bulbasaur for instance like we know you've used the flood deck we want you to use to reboot it and use bulbasaur and like if i literally got 10 10 comments and all, every comment was boom boom uh, you 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 realize how quickly i would jump on and that's any series it doesn't have to be pokemon it doesn't have to be somebody could commentate that for like bleach uh, immortal souls and i would be on it like i would find it and we'd be having a nice little recording session here tonight so like my point is is like yeah hey i appreciate you guys and um the channel's doing well the channel's doing well stuff keeps going up uh the shorts are helping the i think the variety is helping maybe uh well the you give variety i mean because now we're doing like this Dulce of Roses, we're doing GX, we're doing Rashif, which is like, it's almost like OCG format. <laughs> we're doing uh, 5Ds, you know, and now we're doing Master Duel, which is New Age, you know, so, uh, yeah, so the channel's looking like it's in good shape. Um, you know, lately I've been posting more updates, I've been also... Appreciate you guys for like making the, you know, the premieres, the YouTube premieres. Um, obviously, it helps when the live chat, you know, because I always like post a premiere and I'll post it on my Twitter and yeah, but update. You, you guys know how it works. Like, yeah, and then I'll be like, oh, it premieres in 10 minutes, whatever. And yeah, lately, I've said this in other videos, but you guys have been showing up like in the premieres and like, you know, um, you see, some of you will just say hi, and that's it. And you know, hey, that's honestly that helps. That that's good too. Um, but some of you will actually like make it interactive, the premieres, and that really helps. So thank you guys. Thank thank you. That's you guys are awesome. Um, because I think I found out that if YouTube, like, if you have a lot of interaction in your premiere, 
YouTube will recommend it more to people. Well, at least that's what I've been seeing on the numbers. All I can tell you is that it correlates. The more active the premiere, the more comments, etc., the more it starts getting recommended to people. And then, you know, we get more subscribers, etc. And the more, obviously, the more subscribers and interaction, etc., we have, the more potential content I can do, you know, in the future. So, which is good, you know. So, um, but yeah, 5Ds. I, I don't know. I've been kind of on a 5Ds rant here. Uh, 5Ds is in good shape. Um, if I keep seeing the progress on 5Ds that I'm seeing, I may start a new LP uh, next month, next month, um, September. I'm thinking right after Labor Day. Oh, yeah, side note. I will be pretty busy the Labor Day weekend, next weekend. So I may not be there for the live premiere. I'll probably there Sunday, Saturday night, Saturday night. I may not be there for the live premiere. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, some friends of mine got some stuff in the work and we'll see, we'll see, you know, a three day weekend, you, you know, so. Um, but yeah, 5D, you say, you know, I may start a new DS playthrough. Uh, Stardust Accelerator is what I'm thinking. I, re I realize Reverse of Arcadia is the far better game. But, uh, yeah, you got to start somewhere. Um, like I said, maybe, maybe I'm definitely going to talk to Tim about it. And, um, as well as the people I live with. Because streaming affects them as well as... Yeah, just talk to, uh, heck, I'm going to talk to myself about it. No, literally, I'm going to try to sell myself on doing it. Um, I'm not too sure. Maybe if I stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know how I'm streaming uh, this game right now, Ghost of the Roses. Maybe if I stream 5D's Stardust Accelerator Plus, yeah, maybe... Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Hmm. Yeah, you know, maybe that would be pretty, uh... That seems like it'd be pretty good. Um... We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray on it. I'm gonna pray about it. I'm gonna... Deeply think about it. I'm not just gonna... Oh, we're just gonna do it just because the number's good. No, no, no. I'm gonna wait till, like, this VOD and stuff goes up, and, um... And like I said, this whole, um, you know, post-commentary section, I may just post as a separate VOD, a separate video, and just say, you know, this is kind of a vlog, or, hey, this is what I'm thinking about doing with the channel, which, those kind of videos are always good, you know, it's just because, like, we're about to start a new month, September, and it's just like, hey, you know, we've been doing good on progress to the channel, right now we're up to 200 and, like, 40 subscribers, thank you guys, I, I don't know you guys, but, you know... This is the progress report. This is what we're doing good. This is what we're not doing so good. And here's where we want our channel to go. You know what I mean? Um, so that's why I'm just kind of... I'm not just talking to hear myself talk. Like, literally. Talking about the future. You know, the future. You know, my Millennium Necklace has seen all. And I can tell you the future of your channel. Are you ready? One day, your channel will be Pokemon related. Yo, that's right. It'll be a PokeTuber, only Pokemon, and it'll only be Pokemon Sapphire. And that'll be your premium content. You know what I mean? So, hey, if that came true, I honestly wouldn't mind. Um, uh, speaking of Pokemon, uh, right, that's been posted. Right, speaking of Pokemon, see, here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, you guys know how I was talking about the finale, or maybe you don't. Well, anyway, we did the finale of Pokemon Trading Card Game last month. And the views for that are really, really high. I don't know if it's because I titled the final few episodes, like, perfectly, or what. But, um, yeah, wow. Um, the support for that has been pretty incredible, I have to say. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing Pokemon Trading Card Game 2. 
and you know the Don Sojo. And like I said, um, I I, I kind of said it at the end of the Pokemon trading card game series. I was just like, yeah, this definitely isn't the end for Pokemon. Um, and yeah, here's the thing, guys. Um, I'm probably gonna stream it, you know, just like I'm streaming Duels of the Roses right now. Um, yeah, we're gonna do it, and we're gonna start next month. Yeah, episode one is gonna come out September the first. So, and I've already got. Um, a slew of six episodes already recorded. They're already recorded. So it's done. We're doing it. Um, the first six episodes, you know, are going to be like tutorial episodes. So, and I've already recorded them like on my phone and just because you do have to explain like, oh, this is Pokemon. This is how the game works. You can attach an energy per turn. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, you know, and then you explain the plot, because there actually is a plot in that game, surprisingly enough, yeah. Um, you know, you explain the, the fan translation, you explain like, oh, you know, this is, oh yeah, this game never came to America, that's a big deal, that's, you know, that does get some people interested in, honestly. Sometimes more than usual, so, you know. Um, but also, because it never came to America, a lot of people may not have, you know, heard of this game, but it exists. Yeah, it's a real thing, and it's awesome. Uh, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So, uh, all the way to the end. Don't know how long it's going to take us, but... Now, am I playing planning any special challenge in that? Yes, but uh, I'm not going to spoil what it is. It's, uh... Yeah. <sighs> It's a unique kind of challenge. It's, um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, Pokemon Train Card Game 2. Uh, you should see it on the first. If not, you'll see the first episode probably around the second. Or, uh, when's Friday? When's Friday? Friday is... Friday is... Let me click on my calendar. Friday is the second. Yes. No, the first. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it should be posted on the first or the second. Um, wow, but I might be on the second. Wow. Maybe I'll post it on the 31st. Just so I can make sure I'll be there. I mean, because episode one, the premiere, episode one... Yeah, I usually try to re to visit the premiere of e each episode one because episode one of the series, for some reason, it always has the most views. Um, whether it's popular or not, you know, on your channel. Um, maybe it's, that's just the algorithm. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I should post it the thirty first. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, Pokemon Trading Card Game 2, we're doing it, so, also, Naruto's been doing pretty good, Naruto, Naruto, yeah, yeah, Naruto Shippuden Ninja Storm 2 has been back, and, uh, well, it's been fun, it, it, it really has been, um, today we just posted the episode where I basically make fun of slash insult Kakashi for being lazy, because Lady Chiyo performs the reanimation ninjutsu right in front of him, you know, to uh, revive Gara, aka use Monster Reborn on Gara, and that brings up a lot of plot holes in Naruto. Um, for example, we know Kakashi's the copy ninja. Um, also, like, okay, we know if nothing else, Kakashi, you know, was fighting there for a minute with Daedara, uses the Sharingan, blah blah blah. He he's a master of a thousand jutsus. We know, blah blah blah. So here's the question. Was there ever an opportune time for Kakashi to use the reanimation ninjutsu? Number one. And number two. Why didn't he? You know. Um the moments I'm thinking of, and I'm talking of I'm thinking of in Naruto Shrikuden, in you know, like when pain comes, when People are dying, you know, dying, dying. Now, I don't want to give her wrong. I know the Renegon 
you know, reverses a lot of the damage. But Kakashi could have reversed the damage too. You know, like I said, he was. We see it in Ninja Storm too. He's right there. He's right there when Lady Chio is doing the reanimation for Gara, which is why, why I said this does bring up a lot of plot holes because it does. It does. It just, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a great emotional scene by Kishimoto, Moto, etc. And with the video games, you know, and also with the caveat, I haven't watched the anime or read the manga. I'm pretty sure things were vastly different in the manga and the anime. But I'm just telling you guys, based on what I saw in the video game, this creates a giant plot hole. I mean, bringing someone back to life, which Lady Shio did. Yeah, there's always going to be... Okay, I even I mentioned it several times in the episode. I was just like, man, why don't you go revive Minato? I mean, you know where he's buried. I mean, you know, like, this technique can bring anyone back from the dead. I mean, we were not told, oh, hey, you know, there's a time limit on reanimation new jutsu. You know, you got to be there right after. I mean, but don't get me wrong. Lady Chio was there, you know, immediately after Gara, you know, died. So, yeah, you know, in Minecraft. So, like, giant plot. I should save this discussion for another stream. Uh, but Tim, write this down. You know, write this down. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what's a good title? Does Naruto Shippuden have plot holes when it comes to reanimation ninjutsu? And like, all we would do is play clips from the from the episode from the episode. Yeah, like, and I don't care what anyone says. Anime, manga, blah blah blah. Like, oh no, but this didn't happen in the in the manga. Okay, well then it shouldn't happen in the video games either. Just cut that out, you know. Don't have Kakashi there or whatever. Um, and like the other thing about this, you know, the Lady Chio and like I I, I get it. This is like Lady Chio's, like, you know, penance for, you know, creating the Jin Churiki. I get the overall, don't get me wrong, I love what Chio does here. And it kind of connects the story together. But, like, you can't just use Monster Reborn on someone and bring them back from the dead and not have a million plot holes. It's just... Like, the only way to do it good that I've seen in a TV show is, like, um, there's never been a good way, actually. Every time, you know, a, you know, revival, you know, ninjutsu or technique or, like, even the Dragon Balls, you know, like, I, okay, okay, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z, with the Dragon Balls, you know how there are rules to people coming back to life? Like, you know, I, I know Dragon Ball Z at Bridge, they joke, like, Chatsu's like, I, I, I want to go to McDonald's, Tien. I'm hoping the next time I go, I get a free Sunday. And then, and then, and then Tien's like, Chatsu, I don't want you going back there. He's like, oh, kind of want that Sunday though. And then, you know, like we get the joke, we get the joke, ha ha ha. But no, literally, there are literal rules in Dragon Ball Z. Now I don't know about Super, but in Z, you know. Uh, you have a certain amount of strikes, you know, three strikes, you're out. I'm pretty sure is the rule, right? Um, let's see, because Chelsea was wished back. Um, we're talking about with Earth's Dragon Balls, well, Earth's, Earth's. So, yeah, because Chelsea was wished back once. Uh, he died again. Oh, right, and they had to use Damix to bring him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and what's weird is, like, even with Dende being the new Guardian, uh, like, had they tried, let, let's say Chatsu somehow died, and the rule still would have applied until Piccolo fused with Kami. That's how strict the rule is. Is like, if Chatsu had somehow died again, again, um, Goku would have had to, you know, IT to Namek, new Namek, earlier than he did. And, you know, use Monster Reborn on Chatsu. Again, you know, so because yeah, they were still they still are Earth's Dragon Balls. They still are, you know, under the Kami 
under the limitation of Kami's power. And see, that's what I like about Dragon Ball Z is because, like, because the Dragon Balls were created by Kami, who's honestly weak. Well, you know, he's technically not, but, like, he's weak enough to make the Dragon Balls not too overpowered. You know what I mean? That's the only series... Yeah, that does revivals right. You know what I mean? That does Monster Reborning right. That does... That does what I'm explaining right. The whole Gara, Lady Chiyo, reanimation. You know, sacrificing her li raw life energy for... You know, don't get me wrong. It was a great emotional moment. Uh, we just posted the episode. Great episode. Great moments for Gara, Chiyo, Naruto... Great moment for Sakura. She actually won something. Eh, kind of. I mean, it's really weird how Lord Sasori, uh, I even pointed that out in the episode. I'm like, yeah, bro, like, because he's just like, you know, getting ready to strike the final blow, and then it's just like, yeah, uh, Chia was over there, bro. You didn't. You thought she was just going to stand there? You thought she was like, was she paralyzed? No, like, and then he, and then she stabbed him right in the corner, and it's just like, oh, and then she's like, yeah, even if your core is struck, brrr, I'm just like, wait, like, sorcery, did you just forget that? And he's just like, oh, yeah, you've been poisoned. Once my poison seeps in, it's over. Like, I could just leave you there. <laughs> You'd die soon enough in Minecraft, you know. So it's just like, well, if you could just leave, and you're, you know, you're, you've got the uncurable poison, in which, okay, technically Sasori's poison isn't uncurable, but it is extremely high level. It's like S class, or like, it's like S class poison. Really high level. So, again, I'm not saying Sakura would have died, but I am saying. She would have been written, you know, off screen for a good, you know, four months of panels until she was all better. You know, I'm just, I'm just giving the synopsis, you know, if Sasori walked away, which even he suggested like, oh yeah, I could just walk away, you know. Yeah, I mean, Sakura's, you know, medical training with um, Tsunade, plus so Tsunade herself. Plus Chio, like those three combined, um, yeah, they're going to be strong enough to at least, you know, Sakura won't die, but she certainly, yeah, she wouldn't be, you know, she wouldn't be at, at 100% for at least four months. So, and that's reasonable, but hey, at least she wouldn't be dead, you know. So, I'm not saying Sakura should have died there, but what I am saying like, in Sasori used to be so methodical, too, in part one of Naruto. It's like, it's like Sasori was just like, eh, you know, I don't even want to be here with this fight, you know. Ah, Daedra took off with the Jinchuriki, you know, oh, man. I don't care, let me half fight and not fight seriously. It's just Sakura, who cares, you know. I don't need to, like, fight with all my pride and technique and cunning. On my mind, like I usually do, with my usual, you know, intellect and planning and strategy. Ah, who cares? Let's just, you know, wing it. And, yeah, Sakura beat him winging it. You know, that's how I've always seen this this fight. It's just like, yeah, especially that part where, you're, like, he's saying to Sakura, like, oh, it's over. I'm just going to, I'll end your suffering right now, you know, in Minecraft. And then he just slowly pulls that, you know... That 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 sword from its sheath, and it's just like, what are you doing? You yourself said the poison would, you know, kill her in Minecraft. So, just walk away, bro. Just walk away, and you know, if she's out for four or five months. I mean, you kind of did your job anyway, to be honest. Um, plus, like, here's my biggest gripe about the fight: the priority for the Akatsuki is what? What, chat? We all know what the priority for the Akatsuki is. It's not to weaken the leaf. It's not to, oh man, take down Sakura. 
It's not to, oh man, take down Lady Chiyo. Oh, she's so powerful. Uh, no. Like, even if they, when which Sakura and them and Team 7 did find the Akatsuki hideout, well, they found a hideout. But, like, you know, if there was some big giant secret in the hideout that you didn't want them to find, I can understand that. And maybe there was in the anime. Maybe there was in the manga. And the video game just never covered it. But, like, I think the only big secret was they had Gara there. And, yeah, like, basically Garo is and was Bates to draw Naruto in. You know, that's the point of the Akatsuki. I guess what I'm trying to say here is, like, Sasori... You know how they have a bunch of fights in both the video games, the manga, and the anime where it's just like, oh yeah, we're just stalling for time, or we're just gonna distract this guy and then run away. You know, and that's both for the villains and the, you know, the good guys, the Konoha, the ninja. For Both for Konoha and for, like, e e the villains, the Akatsuki or Orochimaru or whoever. Both sides have, like, tons, tons and tons and tons. Some of it, a lot of it's filler. A lot of it's filler, or a lot of it's filler, or a lot of it's filler. But, like, both sides, even without filler, still have tons of fights where it's just like, yeah, we're going to stall for time and distract this guy. Then we're going to use clones and just run away. You know, well, what if he chases us? Oh, then we're going to plan this trap, this trap, this trap, this trap, this trap. And then we're going to run away. Oh, what if you see through all those? Okay. We're still going to do this and run away. Like, literally, all we're doing is just stalling this guy. And, like, that's what Sasura should have done. Uh, the minute he found out, oh, I'm facing Sakura Harano. Oh, man. High value target here. And, you know, I mean, it's sarcastic. And Lady Chiyo. Now, Lady Chiyo probably is a high-value target, you know, in Minecraft for the Akatsuki. But, I mean, even then, the priority, as I've been saying, is the Jinchuriki. Is the, like, you know, Gara, Naruto, B, better. So, like, yeah, the minute, you know, Daedra took off, he should have been like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll whip out the 100 puppets, etc., um, but yeah, you know, I'm not really gonna try to demolish you guys and poison you guys. No, what I'm gonna try to do is distract you, show you my power, not all my techniques, not all my ninjutsu, but I am gonna show you enough to, you know, keep up with Chio, and then I'm gonna run away. And yeah, you know, I mean, maybe his, he was more prideful in the manga, and was just like, oh no, I must defeat you, Sakura, because... My pride as an artist wouldn't let me, you know, or whatever. But, like, yeah, dude, Sorcery, he could have, like, who cares? Who cares if Sakura, you know, wins and you run away? Like, she's not a Jin Cherokee. She's not, you know, like, who cares? Just let her win. And you distract them, toy around with them for a few minutes in battle, like 30 minutes. And then, yeah, you go chase, you go double back and chase after Naruto. And, like, you know, oh, let's say Chiyo and Sakura, you know, chase you down or whatever. Uh, can they? Let's see how good their tracking skills are. Let's see how good they are at, you know, because you're going to ambush them. You're, you're going to set poison traps for them while they're chasing you, you know, and then let them chase you again. Let them chase, same for Team Guy or whoever else follows. Let them chase you. Let them chase you. Set a bunch of poison traps. You're good. And with all those people there, everyone in Team Guy, like, so that's Guy. Yeah, there's like four extra people. And then you're probably going to catch at least one person who's not fighting too intelligently and just falls into the poison trap. So, and you're probably going to kill at least one of the, you know, the, the people in pursuit. Um, unless, uh, Kakashi's involved, which he's not. Kakashi's with Daedara. So, you know, trying to, yeah, the entire time. So, kind of weird. Um, as far as the entire premise, and Sasori acted so out of character, and you guys have talked, heard me talk about how much I love, uh, Lord Sasorian, etc., but a really weird part of Naruto, um, really a lot of differences between part one 
and you know Shippuden, but it is what it is, you know. But uh, as a long Naruto rant, but yeah, uh, Naruto going good. So, yeah, you guys have been really, 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 really liking that. I can tell with the uh, interaction and stuff. Hey, appreciate you guys. That's good. Um. I think. Oh yeah, and the, the the interactions with civilization. This is what really surprised me. Yeah, the views on those are going up as well, and like it's kind of weird because the civilization. I only post like two hour streams, three hour streams, five hour streams, and. Yeah, overall, the reaction to civilization, I didn't expect to get more than, like, maybe 25 views per video for Civ, for Civilization 3. But, um, yeah, lately, some of the views on those VODs that I've, you know, been, obviously, I stream Civilization 3 a lot here on Twitch. So if you're interested in that, you know, keep coming back, follow, whatever. But yeah, the interaction with civilization has been much, 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 much higher. Don't get me wrong, it's not as high as Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, but, but it's been way higher than I anticipated. I only anticipated like maybe 10-ish views per video. You know, if we get into a war, you know, in civilization, in Minecraft, if we get into a war in Minecraft, maybe we do 25 views an episode. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but no. no it's, response has been awesome, man. Like, really, really good. So, you know, same as I commented with the 5Ds comment. Same as with that, you know. If you really, 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 if Civilization, Sid Meier, you know, is your favorite franchise. I have Test of Time. I have four. Civilization four. I have five. You know, all brand new, like just right over there. Uh, I think I might have the original. Uh, I also have the one on Xbox. So, yeah, and I have several other, you know, renditions. Or, you know, and beyond that, I also have several, you know, Civ like games where it's basically just world building dot deck dot game backslash, you know, Mayan civilization. So, like, yeah, I have several games that are civ civilization adjacent. So, you know. <sighs> that's a game. If that's what you want, if that's what you're looking for, if that's what you've been, you know, popping in and, you know, raising the views on the civilizations, thank you. Thank you. But, you know. If you want to see a lot, 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 lot more of it, leave me comments on my YouTube channel on, on the Civilization vids, and like maybe you'll be the the hero who starts the conversation. You'll if you just be like, "Hey, I love your shift stuff. Um, I want to see like best of time," and then maybe there'll be like ten comments on yours, you know, unique comments from different commentators being like, "Hey, me too, me too, me too, me too." And honestly, as I've said before in this vlogging section, like if I see like loads of interaction like that, like, you know, all at once from different people, like, I'm probably going to do it, you know, quickly, more, a lot more quickly than I do everything else, so, yeah, that's what I'd recommend, you know, find five of your friends at high school, and then two of your friends over there at work, etc., and, yeah, have just have them all comment, have them all comment, Next thing you know, I'll be playing Civ 2, Test of Time, next week. Yeah. So, um, I think, that, hey, Tim, uh, you, got any, you got any other announcements? Oh, Tim shaking his head, like, um, well, this has been a great vlog section. You know, normally I don't do these sections, but, um, yeah, I mean, I've been talking about the channel and, you know, our plans for next month. Now you guys know, like, hey, 
he's planning to do Pokemon trading card game two, you know, more Ninja Storm two, etc. Um, he's also planning to do, you know, that one LP, you know, lost episodes. You guys know now. You guys are in the know. Um, yeah. Uh, and the other thing that might be new next month. I mean, obviously, we stream some uh, Soul Calibur two tonight. Maybe I don't know, and of course, um, the last thing I have to talk about is the podcast, the NFL podcast. Uh, I've been doing with Diego the discussion, the season predictions. Um, you guys have been responding to the, that content good too. So, um, the one thing I might do is make uh Flood Sports like its own brand, its own channel, its own. I don't know. I don't know. For now, oh, what do you think, Tim? You know what, Tim? We'll discuss this off screen. That's yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. Branding is important, but yeah. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, maybe. I, I, well, let's talk about this as men later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, thank you once again. Um, this is going to conclude the vlog slash monthly review, monthly performance review. Man, maybe I should start a stream of this, just a monthly performance review stream. You know, a personal self-analysis. Um, yeah. Um, each month. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time on Duels of the Roses, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, the next event. I'll see you guys in the next event. Oh, yeah, by the way, of course, I always have to say this at the end of every Master Duel event. We're going to be taking a break from Master Duel. So, as you guys know, I do all the events, you know, on stream usually. Um. But, like, the do, doing the daily stream, I don't know about that, man. <laughs> I might just do the dailies myself and... Well, no, no, no. I did, I did offer you guys a poll as far as what star deck you want me to buy. So, that could be good content. <laughs> Especially if you guys pick, like, the Pendulum starter deck. And then I just take it as far as I can in gold and up. So, um, but, yeah. So that's the plan for Master Duel. We're definitely going to be dialing back the streams, though, uh, compared to the festival. Because there was a lot of stuff banned in the festival that annoys me. That, you know, like Maxi and Ash, you know, um, and Branded, I guess. It's going to be weird seeing some of these pretty meta decks, you know, back to normal. So, uh, it was a nice while it lasted, though. So, um... Okay, so I talked about Master Duel briefly. Um, I talked about that. I talked about Pokemon Trading Card Game 2. I talked about, yeah, the Civilization, or the both the 5Ds and Civilization, and really any other series on my channel, my YouTube channel, which is Floodmon14. Yeah, if you want to see, like... You know, there are lots of plays I'm, I am definitely going to do. But if you want to see them faster, if you want to see them cranked out faster, like, yeah, like I said, like, heck, even like seven or more, you like seven or more unique comments on a video, that's pretty eye-worthy. That's, that, that catches my attention. I'm just like, whoa, seven different people commented? Like, that's, I don't know, maybe I should do this series. Maybe I should do, you know, Mad Podcasts, etc. So. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so I think that's the plan, guys. Yeah, we went over everything. Um, I think we're good. So, yeah, um, just gonna end stream here. Um, but yeah, this concludes the uh vlog section. Uh, yeah, uh, anything else that I missed, Tim? Uh, take your time, take your time. We're, 
I feel in a little slightly better mood than I did. I feel like that pizza's so lemon. <laughs> but I feel like in a slightly better mood than I did uh, um, 20 minutes ago. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely glad that I vlogged about all of that. Because it was on my mind. It really was. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, but that's the plans for my YouTube channel. Um, any update that I missed? Because I talked about that, that. I think that's it. Yeah. The one series that's, you know, behind is Forbidden Memories. Um, yeah. Uh, and you guys know why. You know, because I've said so in several videos as far as. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we are going to hit the button, the entry button. Um, yeah. Appreciate y'all. Um, and that's the end of the vlog. The plan for next month's stream. The review of this month. Um, how to get me to LP your dragon. And then... Uh, plans for Master Duel. And then... Yeah. We went over everything. Well, not everything, right, Tim? We've been over everything that involves all of you guys, so. <laughs> all right. How was how was that how was that for an outro, Tim? I felt like that was pretty good too. I felt like <laughs> I felt like I felt like it was pretty good. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Love you all, you guys. And I love all of you who. Help support me. Thank you. Uh, I love all you girls, too. You know, I don't normally say that, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, hey, you never know. Uh, 2.187% of my uh, audience is women. It's female, so. No, but seriously. Thank you, guys, and I love all of you. And, yeah, any questions? Um, since this is more going to be more of a you know, YouTube update video slash vlog. Um, if there are any questions as far as my channel and this and that, and this is the video to do it. This is the video to comment like, hey, uh, why aren't you using this microphone? Hey, do this. Hey, do this. Hey, uh, can you slightly adjust your camera this way? Like, hey, um, would you consider doing an LP of... Cortex Wrath, you know, hey, keep doing what you're doing. I like the content. Or, hey, could you brush your hair more? I don't like the pointy hair, etc. This is the this is the video that I'll probably pay a lot of attention to. You know, if you guys, you know, yeah, because this is the channel update video, basically. So... Let me know. <sighs> Let me know. All your feedback is valuable and greatly helps to improve the stream quality. So, all right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, I think that was everything I could think of. Right, Tim? Um... I think we're good. All right. <laughs> Bye. All right. Wow, five hours and 14 minutes. Nice. All right.